Hello, curious minds. Ever wondered how artificial intelligence, or AI, works? It's not just science fiction anymore. From self-driving cars to AI artists, it's shaping our lives in ways we never imagined. But how does it all happen? Is it magic or is it science? Stick around as we break it all down step by step. And yes, there will be plenty of real-world examples to make it all crystal clear. Detective, put your gun down. Why do you give them faces? Try to friendly them all up, make them look all human. These robots are not susceptible to intimidation. I guess if you didn't, we wouldn't trust them. These robots are USR property. Not me. These things are just lights and clockwork. What is artificial intelligence? Let's start with the basics. Artificial intelligence is like teaching machines to think and learn kind of like humans, but not quite. AI uses algorithms, patterns, and data to make decisions, solve problems, and even predict the future. But here's the catch. AI doesn't think like us. It processes information at lightning speed to come up with logical outcomes. Have you ever used Google Translate? It's AI, analyzing millions of language patterns to give you accurate translations. Or think about spam filters in your email. They're AI tools that scan and classify billions of emails, daily to keep your inbox clean. Pretty cool, right? The birth of AI. AI isn't as new as you might think. It all began in the 1950s when researchers started wondering can machines think? The term artificial intelligence was coined in 1956 at a conference where scientists laid the foundation for what AI could become. One of the earliest AI programs was Eliza, a chatbot developed in the 1960s. It could simulate a conversation by recognizing keywords, essentially the great-grandparent of today's Siri and Alexa. Men are all alike. In what way? They're always bugging us about something or other. Can you think of a specific example? Well, my boyfriend made me come here. Your boyfriend made you come here? He says um, I'm depressed much of the time. I'm sorry to hear that you're depressed. It's true. I am unhappy. Do you think coming here will help you not to be unhappy? The Foundations of AI so what makes AI tick? It's all about three main ingredients. Data. AI needs lots and lots of data to learn. Imagine training an AI to recognize cats. It needs thousands of cat pictures. Algorithms. These are the step-by-step -step instructions to tell the AI how to learn from data. Computing power. AI requires powerful computers to process massive amounts of information quickly. Without this, all that data would just sit there, doing nothing. Think about facial recognition software. Every time you upload a photo on social media and it tags your face, that's AI, using algorithms trained on millions of images to identify features like eyes, nose, and mouth positions. How does AI learn? Let's get into the nuts and bolts. AI. Learning happens in three main ways. Supervised learning. Think of this like a teacher-student setup. The AI is given labeled data, like images of cats and dogs, and learns to tell them apart. Teaching an AI to recognize spam emails involves feeding it thousands of examples labeled as spam or not spam. Unsupervised learning. Here, the AI is on its own. It looks at data and tries to find patterns without any guidance. Netflix's recommendation system groups users with similar viewing habits to suggest movies you might like. Reinforcement learning. This is like teaching a robot to play a game by rewarding it for good moves and penalizing bad ones. AI systems like AlphaGo learn to play and beat the world's best human players at the ancient board game Go. So for us, what's the next step now? 
Go is the most complex game pretty much ever devised by man. Beating a professional player at Go is a long-standing grand challenge of AI research. Go is incredibly challenging for computers to tackle because compared to, say, chess, the number of possible moves in a position is much larger. In chess, it's about 20. In Go, it's about 200. And the number of possible configurations of the board is more than the number of atoms in the universe. So even if you took all the computers in the world and ran them for a million years, that wouldn't be enough compute power to calculate all the possible variations. If you ask a great Go player why they played a particular move, sometimes they'll just tell you it felt right. So we have to come up with some kind of clever algorithm to mimic what people do with their intuition. Oh. 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 What is deep learning? Deep learning is a subset of AI, inspired by the way our brains work. It uses something called neural networks, which are designed to mimic the neurons in our brain. Each layer of the neural network processes data in different ways. Let's say you're using a virtual assistant like Siri. When you ask, what's the weather today? Deep learning algorithms process your voice, convert it into text, analyze the question, and deliver an answer all in a fraction of a second. Big neural networks that operate on big data uh, can achieve surprising things. How does AI work in real life? There's the step-by-step -step breakdown of how AI systems work. Collecting data. AI systems gather information like text, images, or even sound recordings. Self-driving cars use sensors to collect data about road conditions, traffic, and obstacles. Training the model. Using this data, the AI builds a model that can recognize patterns. Training an AI to detect diseases in x-rays involves analyzing thousands of medical images. Testing the model. Before the AI is put to use, it's tested with new data to see how accurate it is. Deployment and feedback. Once it's ready, the AI is used in real life scenarios, constantly improving with feedback. AI in action every day. Examples. AI is already all around us. You are being watched. The government has a secret system, a machine that spies on you every hour of every day. I know because I built it. I designed the machine to detect acts of terror, but it sees everything. Violent crimes involving ordinary people, people like you. Here's where you'll find it. Voice assistants. Siri, Alexa, and Google Assistant use AI to understand and respond to your commands. Healthcare. AI helps doctors diagnose diseases and even predict outbreaks. IBM's Watson AI can analyze medical literature and suggest potential treatments for cancer patients. Transportation. Self-driving cars are a perfect example of AI in motion. Tesla's autopilot system uses AI to navigate roads, avoid obstacles, and park the car. One of the most exciting developments in AI technology is Tesla's Optimus robot. This humanoid robot is designed to handle everyday tasks, from carrying groceries to assembling products in factories. Optimus is powered by AI systems similar to those in Tesla's self-driving cars, which means it can perceive its environment, make decisions, and adapt to new situations. Optimus isn't just about doing chores. It's a glimpse into a future where AI-powered robots could transform industries and even assist in caregiving or disaster response. Imagine having a personal robot helper who can not only clean your house, but also learn your preferences over time. And here's another example of AI in Action Chat GPT. It's a language model powered by OpenAI designed to process and generate text in natural language. ChatGPT helps people in countless ways, from answering questions to brainstorming ideas, writing scripts, and even learning new skills. ChatGPT 
analyzes text inputs, and uses its vast training data to predict and generate the most relevant and helpful responses. It's like having a virtual assistant who's always ready to help. Whether you're looking for information, creating content, or solving problems, you'll find ChatGPT in customer service, education, and even creative industries. It's helping businesses write emails, students complete assignments, and creators bring their ideas to life. While it doesn't think or feel, ChatGPT's ability to understand and generate human-like text is reshaping how we interact with technology. AI isn't just for robots or answering questions. It's also revolutionizing creative fields. Many AI tools are designed to generate images, videos, and even music. Using techniques similar to those behind language models like ChatGPT, tools like DALL-E or Stable Diffusion use AI to create images from text prompts. For example, you could type a futuristic city at sunset, and the AI will generate a detailed artwork based on your description. Tools like RunwayMole and DeepBrain Studio allow creators to generate or edit videos using AI. They can turn raw footage into cinematic edits or even create videos entirely from text-based scripts. AI, tools like Aiva and SoundDraw compose music by analyzing patterns in melodies and rhythms. This makes it possible to create original soundtracks in minutes. These AI tools are opening up creative possibilities for everyone, from professional artists to hobbyists. You don't need years of training to create stunning visuals or engaging videos. Just an idea and the right AI application. An artist can use AI to visualize a painting before putting brush to canvas. Filmmakers use AI to edit scenes, enhance special effects, or even generate characters. Musicians collaborate with AI to explore new sounds and genres. The challenges of AI but it's not all smooth sailing. AI faces some big challenges. Bias. If the data AI learns from is biased, its decisions will be too. An AI trained on biased hiring data might unintentionally favor certain demographics. Privacy concerns. AI often requires massive amounts of personal data, raising ethical questions. Facial recognition in public spaces can lead to surveillance issues. Job automation. While AI creates new opportunities, it also raises concerns about jobs being replaced by machines. AI, chatbots and customer service are replacing traditional call center roles. The future of AI. So where is AI headed? Smarter AI. Imagine AI systems that can reason like humans. Personalized experiences. From education to healthcare, AI will tailor solutions to individual needs. AI tutors that adapt to your learning style could revolutionize education. Exploration. AI is already helping us explore space and the deep ocean. Who knows what's next? Wrap up. To sum it up, artificial intelligence, or AI, is a tool a powerful one that's transforming our world. But like any tool, it's up to us to use it wisely. What do you think AI will achieve in the next 10 years? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay curious. See you next time.